Hello everyone. My name is Gajendra Deshpande. I am working as assistant professor in KLS Kokta Institute of Technology, India. Today I will be delivering a talk on inventing curriculum with Julia and pointer generator network. So these are the contents which we are going to discuss briefly. So a curriculum, uh, an introduction, then what forms the curriculum, text summarization, so the idea behind text summarization, how it is done, then two packages, text summarization.jl and text analysis.jl, then how we generated the curriculum using uh, Julia, using text summarization packages, and finally the conclusion. So let's first uh, go through some of the definitions of curriculum. So these are the definitions mentioned on the University of Delaware uh, website. So a course of study that will enable the learner to acquire specific knowledge and skills. A curriculum is the combination of instructional practices, learning experiences and students performance assessment that are designed to bring out and evaluate the target learning outcomes of a particular course. So a curriculum is what the school is attempting to teach which might include social behaviors as well as content and thinking skills. A selection of information segregated into disciplines and courses typically designed to achieve a specific educational objective. A curriculum is the program of instruction. It should be based on both standards and best practice research. It should be the framework that teachers use to plan instruction for their students. So curriculum can be both written and unwritten. In our experiment, we are focusing only on written curriculum. So this is the example curriculum uh, defined by computer, defined by AICT, that is All India Council for Technical Education. This has been defined for computer science stream. Uh, so similarly, you can find curriculum for other uh, uh, streams. So this is basically for professional engineering uh, courses. And you can see here, we have uh, different types of courses. We have humanities and social sciences, including management courses. Then we have basic science courses, then engineering science courses, then professional core courses, then professional elective courses, then open subjects, project work, and there are some mandatory courses. Okay, so it is not just a technical subjects, but also the non-technical subjects, which are very essential to shape the personality of the student. Now, this is the example curriculum or syllabus of one of the subjects known as web technologies for diploma students. And you can see here, uh, we can roughly go through the content. So in the syllabus is distributed into units. So each unit covers a different concept. So in first, uh, unit they are covering basics of web designing then in second unit they are covering architectures and basic concepts of web systems architecture then in third unit they are covering about javascript in fourth unit dom and web browsers are covered html css is covered then xml and its related concepts are covered then finally in unit 5 php is covered but if you look at the syllabus here, it lacks many things. For example, now nobody accesses or very less people, very few people, around say 10% of the people access websites on laptop or desktop. So 90% of the people, they access the web pages or websites on their mobile phone. So here, uh, nothing is mentioned about those technologies. So here, nothing is mentioned about those technologies. So this syllabus is not aligned to industry. So now if you look at the uh, sample job profile on indeed.com. So you can see here uh, some skills and responsibilities are uh, clearly mentioned, okay. So in responsibilities, you can see the first one is designing and developing UI for web and mobile applications. So if we see 
if you go back to our previous slide and if we see there there is nothing about mobile applications but that's the first requirement here okay then similarly you can uh, see in the qualification that along with javascript jquery and bootstrap framework are required but those things are not mentioned in the uh, syllabus then similarly when we uh, look at the another uh, job profile for web developer so again you can uh, see the same thing here so along with bootstrap they are asking about material ui and some other things like github react angular and so on right so basically they are focusing more towards mobile application development with respect to web okay if you develop a web website it should be mobile friendly but some of these things are lacking in the syllabus so through our project we are automating this process so let's uh, discuss the basics of uh, text summarization so text summarization is nothing but the shortening of long pieces of text by applying computational uh, methods okay so text summarization can be classified into two types one is extraction and second one is abstraction now on the right hand side um, there are two diagrams the first one on the top uh, shows how extractive summarization technique works so you have uh, uh, n sentences then you are going to apply some computational uh, methods so those computational methods are removing the stop words then counting the frequency of words then based on the frequency of words assigning the rank to the statement then picking the high rank uh, sentences so this is how extractive uh, summarization technique works so on n sentences you are going to apply extraction technique then the output will be the subset of these n sentences okay so these sentences are chosen based on their ranking now at the bottom you have something called as abstractive summarization technique so here also you have n sentences but now instead of extraction abstraction is applied now you can see here instead of picking the sentences instead of picking high ranking sentences it's going to generate new sentences which are not there in our n sentence uh, set now this extraction and abstraction both have got its own advantages and disadvantages extractive summarization technique will give you quick results but it will not give you accurate results it can't generate uh, its own insights whereas abstraction technique is difficult to implement but it gives better results it it, it gives some intuitive results which are uh, uh, which which look like uh, human uh, which look like as if humans are generating a summary okay so we can club the advantages of both the techniques and we can go for a new technique called as pointer generator network so we'll discuss uh, what is meant by pointer generator network in uh, in some of the slides so basically how it uh, works is uh, uh, it's a combination of extraction as well as uh, abstraction when i'm saying pointer it's going to generate the it's going to extract the important keywords so when you are through extractive summarization technique so that's a pointer so based on those keywords it's going to generate a new combination of keywords or maybe you can also go for meaning of uh, those keywords so it can generate a new information so in pointer we are extracting the information from the existing text and in generator we are generating new information based on this text so basically pointer gives us the idea of what to extract and what to generate okay so this is the process we had followed to develop our application so first is step is to create a data set of job postings to create a data set of job postings we had visited indeed.com nokri.com then stack overflow linkedin okay from all those websites job postings were copied related to particular domain then remove unwanted uh, stop words numbers punctuation marks and unrelated words removing unrelated words is also very very important and removing the stop words numbers punctuation marks is very important 
they are of any use to us so better remove them so that you can save processing time and similarly unrelated words like experience doesn't matter to us then maybe the package currency location these things doesn't matter to us it is not required for our uh, uh, analysis so remove those unrelated words also so you should focus more on unrelated words to get the more accurate results okay removing stop words numbers punctuation marks those can be done naturally the next is tokenize words and sentences then next step is compute the word frequency so that you can do it by using ngram analysis and the sentence score now in ngram analysis what it does is it gives you the frequency of each word if it is a single gram or just a gram it gives the frequency of a single word then if you go for bigram then it uh, gives the frequency of two words together then trigram three words together and so on so when we say n gram it is the frequency of n words occurring together at a time okay we don't need higher value here because in uh, syllabus hardly few words are mentioned so just keywords are mentioned so we can restrict our uh, study to maybe up to trigram for maybe one or two up to the value of five maybe enough for us then select sentences with high scores and concatenate them then sort the words in descending order of frequency that is the highest first so this is uh, based on ngram analysis then extract the top n words or word combinations from the previous step and compare them with the syllabus of a particular subject so here what you can do is here you can use uh, string comparison or filtering and check how many words are occurring in the syllabus so based on that you can say that your per syllabus is uh, 80% aligned with the syllabus it is 80% aligned with the industry or 60% aligned with the industry right so you can uh, it this gives us the idea that what are the keywords which are missing from our syllabus then next we have two options first option is either to refine a syllabus of existing subject with new keywords but if it's an introductory subject then we cannot include everything so in that case proposing a new subject becomes important so this is the package called as textsummarizer.jl to install what you can do is you can use import package statement then you need to clone the package then you need to activate the package why we are following this approach is this package is not yet registered so you need to download it from the github you will get it in github so in github i have already provided you the github url here and you can also go through the uh, youtube so this explains how you can build your own text summarizer and how to use this package yeah, so this is the example so to use this package you need to write the first statement after installation that is using text summarizer then use a uh, variable and store the string and store the data there so you can see here in this docx variable i have stored job profiles of the companies so i have stored i think three or four job profiles here and text summarizer uh, package comes with a method called as text underscore summarizer which takes string as the input so after applying after executing this statement so you can see here it is extracting those statements where the important skills are mentioned for example html css bootstrap php jquery wordpress right so you can see here only those things are appearing so less important statements are appearing at the end but important ones are appearing at the top or beginning the next you can also use a text analysis.jl package if you want to do more in depth uh, processing more in depth in depth natural language processing because earlier text anal text summarizer it, it it does only the limited job so that is not of our use because it just works or it just does the extractive summarization generally extractive summary now to use the text analysis package again you need to import package then use add method and 
to install once it is installed then you need to start using the package so to use the package you need to say using text analysis then tutorials and uh, so some tutorials on text analysis links have been included in the slides you can refer it for your information okay so this is the source code which explains how we have built the uh, text summarizer so in first statements we are importing the packages required so note here that we need to use languages package because we want to remove the stop words articles prepositions pronouns etc and note here that we have stored our um, uh, job profiles in a file called as dataset.txt and for our processing uh, we are converting everything to lowercase okay otherwise what will happen lowercase and uppercase letters will be treated different and there will be a different score uh, you will be getting say for example if there's a html so html is usually written in uppercase letters but if there is a word uh, which is uh, written in uppercase and there is another word which is written in lowercase so in both the cases for uppercase html you will get, get a different score for lowercase html you, you will get a different score so it is not uh, acceptable so you will not get the correct results here so it becomes very important to convert to a uniform uh, format so here we are converting it to lowercase for the processing after converting we are removing all the stop words articles propositions and pronouns and note here that we are also removing the punctuations we are also removing the numbers then we are also removing these unwanted uh, words so these are the unwanted words few of them have been listed here that is fresher candidate inr graduation okay lack hiring understanding convert candidates okay. so these things are not required for us so that's why we are removing these uh, uh, words otherwise uh, these words are common in uh, every job profile so the scores of these words will be higher and uh, that summarizes uh, what we'll do is it will extract only these statements and says that uh, these are the skills required but actually it's a, a false result so that's why you need to remove these uh, unwanted words so here what we are doing here is we are uh, in using for loop and using filter function in the first uh, loop we are removing the unwanted words then we are removing numbers then we are removing punctuation marks then we are removing stop words then we are removing articles then we are removing propositions then finally we are removing uh, pronouns now here uh, there is a method called as token document so what it does is it takes the input from the file and it tokenizes that is it divides it into words now you can see here there are again three statements so the first statement n grams of td what it does is it generates the frequency of single words the next is the frequency of bigrams the next is the frequency of trigrams okay now here what we are doing is we want to extract the top uh, uh, we, we have to extract the keywords or keyword combinations which are having the top scores okay so there will be again a threshold so say top 10 words or top 5 words so for that we need to sort them in descending order okay so for that you need to use a dictionary and you should set the property as reverse is equal to true because dictionary will be sorted by default in ascending order and it will be sorted sorted key wise we don't want key sort we want value sort okay so for that this is the code which you should use to sort the dictionary by value okay so after executing you will get this output so you can see here the first section shows the output of grams so basically it shows the frequency of words okay frequency of single words so you can see here html has a frequency of seven web is five wordpress is four css is four bootstrap is three and so on okay jquery is three so if you pick some top 10 key keywords it will give you some idea then if you observe the second part of the output here it it shows the output of bigrams here so in this case it shows the uh, output of 
words of combinations so frequency of combinations of words okay and it also gives you the idea that which keyword is used with which other keyword okay say let's say for example um, you can observe here html and css so note here that html and css is used together commonly so it has a frequency of four so it gives us the indication that you just can't learn html it is not enough you also need css so this gives you some idea that some insights that how you can design a syllabus for a particular subject so of course this is still in its um, uh, nascent stage so still a lot of improvement have to be done more processing needs to be done here and once we complete it we will be uh, getting a very wonderful application here now when we are extracting some top keywords so that's nothing but the pointers and note here that when we are uh, going for bigrams actually it is giving you the combinations so it is generating new combination of words okay based on the frequency so that gives uh, the idea how this pointer generator network works of course you can explore more on pointer generator network and you can uh, apply more advanced uh, uh, techniques to generate the syllabus so conclusion is that to achieve better results using natural language processing one of the important factor is the pre-processing of document so the more the uh, pre-processing you do you get more accurate results using pointer generator network we can balance advantages or disadvantages of extractive or abstract summarization to get the better results now need to experiment with non-professional courses such as humanities or management courses or arts subject where even the meaning of the words comes into picture and it uh, it is also uh, the pro the possibility uh, needs to be explored uh, with respect to the experimentation related to indic languages or non english languages okay thank you